Welcome, I'm Olivia, vlogger and trained chef. And I'm Fran from Made in Chelsea, Olivia's sister and an avid cook. In our new series, we're going to be trying out some great party foods and competing for the title of Best Chef. I'm going to be showing you how to get great party food using quality products. And I'm going to be doing bigger, better versions for under a budget. Today, I'm going to be showing you my mini beef burgers with sun-dried tomatoes. So tell us what's so great about your burger and your ingredients. Well, I'm using quality beef from the butcher. Lean? Very lean, of Good. course. Um, and then just the flavours, really. So I've got here um, chopped oregano Fresh. and mint. Yes. And then I've got sun-dried tomatoes here that I've finely chopped. They've been left in oil, so that's good. Lovely. I've got grated onion here, um, which just helps to make the burgers like more tender when you cook them. And so then, of course, to your batter. And halloumi, the best part of all. So you're not putting any breadcrumbs or egg in the mix. Is it going to hold? Um, it should hold, yes. Let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> um, anyways. Whilst I'm doing this, you could give me a hand, as long as you don't sabotage, and put some oil on my cut up chia batters. Would I sabotage anything? Yes. Okay. Just adding some seasonings. You don't want your burgers to be bland. I'd say I am a huge fan of mini burgers. Me too. Everything's I, better smaller. I think as well they're people pleasers. Like girls love them as long as they're as long as they're easy to like fit in the mouth. And then boys <laughs> you know, boys, you can't go wrong with burgers. You can't go wrong with burgers, unless you're vegetarian. Oh, that's Probably true. Probably not so great. Then you just put halloumi, halloumi with... A portobello mushroom, dreamy. Halloumi and tea batter, if not. You can have the exciting task of popping some salt and pepper on those as well. More than happy to do that. Next, I try and form the burgers into little cute triangles. Triangular shaped burgers, interesting. I want them to look like little cake slices. Yeah, but are they actually going to stay in triangles in the frying pan? <laughs> Of course, Olivia's out. already tried and tested this recipe, haven't you, Olivia? It's burgers, you can't go wrong. I am just going to measure these. It's way too big still. It's way too big, it could be fine. But if you put that there, I think that's cute. That's going to do. We shall see. Um, while you're doing that, would you like me to chop your halloumi for you? I would love you to. Okay, sure. Wait, like, what are you doing? No, no, no. Chop down <laughs> there. And then I can, like, cut those into like little that? triangles. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And not like too fat, but not so it's gonna like, like melt into nothing. But. Oh no, this one's too thin. <laughs> cheese, I should not have left you in charge Love of the cheese. Me. I got oh, meat on my move. hand. So I'm just gonna carry on making my burgers into cute little triangles um, until all my mixture is used up. Great, so I've made these all into little triangles now. And Fran, if you can pop the bread in the oven for me, I don't want it to burn, but I want it to be like toasted and slightly brown. Okay. Don't mess it up. I'm going to start frying these up. Um, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of oil to my pan just so it doesn't stick. The last thing you want is your burgers to stick and crumble away when they're this small. And I'll put your halloumis ready to go on the grill. Oh yeah, amazing. Pan. Right, here goes. Are you eating my halloumi still? <laughs> um, I'm going to kind of guesstimate with the halloumi and just wait until it's golden brown and then turn it over. So I can tell that these are sort of ready to take off now. Nicely browned on both sides. I'm just repeating this for the second batch of burgers. I'm just going to cook them off, the same as I did the last one. Great, now I'm just going to add, I've got here some grated red onion. That's just a bit of relish on top. I'm just going to add that to the pan to cook off a bit until it's sort of browned a tiny bit. Make sure you check on your halloumi regularly because you don't want it to burn. The onion's slightly brown now, it's in all the beef fat, which is actually quite nice. Adds like a flavour and some colour to it. Nice. So I'm just going to turn that off now. You can see I've cooked the halloumi beautifully. Brilliant. Okay, so next step is to assemble. The fun bit. So I have decorated, well, I guess garnished my board here with some sun-dried tomato and some oregano. Now, do you want me to tear these or chop them into triangles? Um, I would like to sort of try and chop them into little triangles. They don't have to be as big as the burgers because they're sort of, you know, to be sandwiched in. That's remembering what. Lids go of what. I'm just making it level so it sits on it. I did cut these down a bit thinner, but there it sits rather than toppling over. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't tried to sabotage, but these aren't really triangle-shaped. Sharing is caring, sister. 
sharing is caring. And don't forget, after this, you'll be seeing my version of mini burgers, but I'll be using lamb instead of beef mints. And they're gonna taste really good. Are they? We would love to see your entries as well. If you've got your own burgers, or if you've done our recipes and you wanna show us your pictures, please tweet them into us and we'll definitely be the judge of who's the better out of yours. Ooh, more competition. More competition. <laughs> I remember if you like Olivia's burgers, please hashtag Olivia Burger. And if you prefer my lamb burgers, hashtag Fram Burger. I'm just gonna carry on assembling my burgers onto this plate. I have to hand it to your sister. They're looking pretty good. Yes, they are. Remember, if you like our recipes, please subscribe to our channel. Olivia, what's yours? My channel is Olivia Newman Young. What's yours? And mine's Fran Newman Young. So I'm just going to finish these off. I've got little slices of sun-dried tomatoes that I'm just sticking on to the sticks as a bit of garnish. I think with party food, it's all about good presentation. And then don't forget, you can also use some ketchup in a bowl as well, or like make your own salsa if you want something to sort of dip it into. So there you have it, my amazing burgers. Fran, what do you think? I think I want to eat one of them. No. Wow. Um, do let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.